I'm not a great speaker. <laughs> I'm a sexual. I'm much better getting my ideas out through other means than, than talking. I used to like, kind of, you know, in the back of my head, I would always like, have this dumb, like, kind of hope that, you know, you're always painting the image, you're painting your own world in your head, in a sense, then you're in, then eventually you go into that. And I get these stupid things where I think that you could create, a, like, an afterlife within your brain. Ah! Oh, fuck. And then you would be able to move into that. You know, you, what you do, spend your life trying to figure out how to trigger that, exactly, and then you move into that. And it's not, and if you don't get that, you don't get that, but if you get that, you get that. And it's something to do with my painting, I guess, you know? But it's not really 100% accurate. These are my plate, plate photographic um, portraits, like old photographic portraits, and um, it's all in an old southern house, and this is the, the ghost, that's the voodoo queen, and that's the Egyptian mystic, and that's something else, I don't know quite yet, like the skin body in the closet or something. Um, and they're all in the house for one evening of conversation and food and enjoyment and mystery. And um, I am going to uh, put together a extensive work of sound which will be based on this party and it will be like a radio show with lots of noise. How many plates are there going to be in total? This whole wall. Mm -hmm. I see. There's a doctor. Doctor. Can you just think for a second to the doctor? Yeah. That's just one doctor. There's lots of doctors. I want to go out and buy a tape that's full of those TV surgeries. I'm going to use it for my film, but like we film it. And this, this is like the list of things that I'm trying to do in my head lately. Mm -hmm. Those are songs or those are just projects? They're songs, but... It all ties together because it starts off with, I don't know, um, prosthetic limbs and uh, getting new bodies and replacing bodies, you know, for the, putting the brain in a prosthetic body. And then um, the brain going through a slight hallucinogen, whatever, uh, dream-like effects before being reintroduced into a new body. And then being reintroduced into a new body and then all that other stuff happens and eventually there's the... You know, view your island songs and your, uh, your, uh, I don't know, get a few dance songs. You get your few, it's mostly like, you know, you get, then the talk gets, like, gets into this water thing, this water aspect, and the evaporation pools, you know, the evaporation pools, and, and people, uh, liquid self, kind of, like, uh, you know, like, uh, evolving into, uh, like, the, your body's in mostly water anyway, so evolving in some sort of a liquid test tube thing.
you just thinking about death too much. I'm trying to think real logical, like sort of real like ah, just trying to find this logic, co reason for it kind of, and uh, it just doesn't work. I can't. It doesn't doesn't click. It never clicks. So I never go to bed. You know, I just keep the stay up, and it just never stops. And it goes. It's like a math problem. Trying to figure out like reasons for things and like little tiny like calculations and stuff, and it never never stops. So. I never go to bed, and it uh, terrifies me because I can't accept it because it's not logical. Exactly, no, not that. I don't always think in logic, and that's it. That maybe I may be doing that a lot more recently because of having to uh, get into lots of fights with women because women think very illogical. I don't want to do it. Stupid bitch! Give me a fucking kiss. My current relation has been helping me out in some of these works. Um, that one right there. Doctors are everywhere and they are destroying our life. That one down there, the, the two lovely, the lovely couple coming out of uh, the lovely uh, you know, green house with their lovely cane and golden arm, and I think that's us, possibly in the top of our shoe. Last night's called surgery school. That's always fun. Lots of things that are very uh, fidgety, very like, uh, and there's like, there's a point, and then there's this big fuss before the point, and then the, after the point, it's calm. So there's this whole frustrated kind of energy before the point, and then after that, it's calm. So I have to like, I'm trying to work that out of my system, and it's a uh, clank, like, you know, and you got the doctors, and then to an operation and then after the operation there's the quiet part where you, you know you have to come back in and recover it's like oh. the healing process is going much better than you th expected it is good you know and the, the doctor is coming to visit you and he's telling you that it's good and that kind of thing I feel like I've done tons of things, but I don't feel like I've done anything until I finish the project that I'm doing at the same time the time I'm doing it, so mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like I'll be remembered for anything because I didn't, don't feel like I got anything done. And unfortunately, I don't think I'll always feel like that. So even if I get successful, no matter what I'm working on at the point in time, if I don't finish that, then I, don't, I would, don't feel like I'd be remembered for much. You know what I mean? Because you always feel like you're working on something that's more interesting than the last thing. At least you try to. I'm sure eventually I won't be. I'm sure eventually I'll just be like, hey, I'll just do a pop record. Or hey, I'll do you know I'll I'll go paint a you know paint a paint a guy with a with a with a face. That's it. <laughs> Get a shot of Brian next to Baby Tank. Why don't you go next to Baby Tank, Brian? Is that Baby Tank? Yeah. <laughs> Think about death. Think about being in formaldehyde. Now be happy. Slowly. Go from moroseness to happiness. Got a little smile. 
That would be ecstatic. <laughs> ah, that's kind of scary. He's, he's always on, you know. He's always Brian. He's always playing. He's always playing the artist, the hypersensitive artist, the um, irritable, irritable, neurotic. Yet he has this, the conscious humor the whole time. What's the thing you like most about Brian? His emotional sense of oh, openness and sensitivity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you like least about Brian? Okay, let me think of it. What do I like least about Brian? What and about sometimes blind ambition. Blind ambition? That's what um there's there's a blind ambition and there's also <laughs> the fact that uh he gets very caught up in his, his dramas to an extent where I'm afraid for him sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that sometimes he doesn't know the line between humor and reality. Well, I don't know it either, either, really. He does have a funnier existence. He has a more tortured one. Sorry. Um, I, I'll just tell you, I don't like anthrax. Anthrax is bad. And uh, I live in D.C. and they're probably going to kill us all. I like Brian because he obsesses about things like nuclear bombs, going off in New York City and how far the radius would be and whether or not it would reach us and kill us instantly or we would die of radiation poisoning just like me. You know, they're just trying to put in the subways and then everyone would go on the subway at rush hour and then spread it all and we'll all die. And that'd be great. They'll close the city off and they'll only give vaccination to certain people. And I don't think I have that great of an immune system so I'll probably not get vaccination at all. And I'll perish in a big, like, a mound of people in white sheets with their bodies rotting away. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I want some Chinese food, I'm just gonna show. Um, yes, I can't really say that much about Brian. I mean, Brian's very friendly, although um, uh, it's, it's very, uh, it's, it's too much Brian. It's, it's intense. Whether he's telling Melanie she's going to die or he's telling us he's going to die, it's just, and the reasons are so good. Like, you're eating nothing but sweets. Or I just consumed three packages of Cozy Shack. <laughs> What's the best thing about Brian? The best thing about Brian is um, the uncanny resemblance to the guy in the Aldo poster. Stop filming me, please. <laughs> Not today. I'm not in a good I don't want, I can't, I, if I die before I get this damn project done that I'm doing, I'll be really upset. And, uh, no, I won't be really upset, but the, 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 I get to, there'll be this giant bit of, like, this giant mass of energy that just has a bad feeling to it because I really didn't get something done, I really need to get done. And then everything else will just implode because I'm the center of the universe. <laughs> Basically. Basically. And I, I totally believe in that. I'm going to do a little dance now. A little dance now! Oh! Stop! Oh! Stop! Go! Go!